What's the most uplifting, warm, beautiful thing you can say to someone? A professor once told me, you are the type of guy every father hopes his daughter meets. As a man, there is no greater compliment. Frick yeah, keep that up, do Debro. I once held open a door for a stranger and instead of telling me he appreciated it, he said I appreciate you. Somehow that simple switch made a difference and I couldn't stop smiling. I now try to say it to others as often as I can. In the south, it's preciature. A lot of the kind things you do go unnoticed. Typing it out here, it sounds kind of negative. Actually, a teacher said this to me years ago and I still remember how good it made me feel. Love it. I don't think it sounds negative at all. You're incredibly beautiful, and that's the least interesting thing about you. This is everything I've ever wanted to be told, wrapped up in a sentence. I'm going to pretend you're saying it to me. Deleted for the sake of protecting said friend's privacy. Thanks for upvotes and gold. I did something similar in high school. Told the football coach about a player's suicidal talk and actions. The guy didn't speak to me again for the rest of high school. We reconnected via Facebook 25 years later and he thanked me for caring enough to sacrifice a friendship to save his life. <laughs> You're really easy to talk to I like hearing this. I said that to a woman once, and she furiously stormed out of my flat. About 2 hours later is when it occurred to me that I may have forgot that to talk to. <laughs> I am a better person having met you. Just said this to my friend yesterday, right out of the blue, went down a treat their name oh my god yes no one ever says my name but when they do it sounds so strange and foreign to me that it makes my heart skip a beat just because i'm so happy someone actually said it it's kind of pathetic now that i think about it my four years old told me that he loved me more than the ice cream lady the lady who drove the ice cream truck in our neighborhood small child used to think she drove by just for him to deliver ice cream my 4 years old, now 19, love chicken nuggets. One day, he said, Mommy, I love you more than a piece of chicken. That has now become the standard expression of love around my house. <laughs> a good friend of mine said to my mom upon meeting her for the first time, Thank you for Moxie42. That's an awesome double compliment. Someone wrote on reddit about how he was riding on the bus and apparently looked so down. A random stranger noticed and when he walked out the old man said to him, Whatever it is, don't let it beat you. I thought that random act of kidness was dead on awesome. I use that quote to those who could use it from time to time. This thread is like a warm bath of good feelings. I tried saying that to make people happy. All I got was weird looks. Said by a mentor or a parent, I'm proud of you. So simple, but so validating. My dad died over 8 years ago, but he would tell me he was proud of me during the big moments or when I would need it. That's one of the few phrases that I can still hear him saying in my memory, and the word validating is spot on. There was a group of probably middle aged guys playing music in the subway one day. I love stopping by to listen and give money when I see people playing music. But I was in a rush that day, so I just smiled at them. One white bearded guy said you have a beautiful smile, but it was really loud so I couldn't hear him, only see him mouth it. For a moment, I felt as if time stopped and all the rushing people going this way or that just became a blur as this one moment of kind words was exchanged. This was a few years ago, but it stuck with me. Random acts words of kindness are the best. Edit. Oh my god I'm sitting here smiling from ear to ear because I had no idea this comment would gain any reaction. Thank you so much for whoever gave me the reddit gold, and the upvotes, and the replies. Not sure what to do with myself at the moment. You've turned me into a puddle of mush, reddit. It's been a long day mate, let's go down to the pub for a pint. This would make poor Sean cry. I bet all he wants is to go down to the pub and have a pint with Ed. You're a good person. Deb. I realize that I have a limited amount of time before I die, and yet when I'm with you, I feel like I am spending my time in the best way possible. I think I have someone I need to tell this to. 
My little family express love to one another a dozen times a day, but sometimes my partner tells our 6 year old I love your mom and it makes her so happy. He is her stepfather, and he is an amazing dad. I raised her alone for almost 4 years and she really loves having a real family. Her words not mine. He is a good person. All the best to you and your family. Thanks for being you. My girlfriend isn't very good with words. She's also a high functioning autistic. So projecting emotion can sometimes be hard. She once said to me, I'm glad you're here. You make my life suck less. So simplistic. So heartfelt. The ice cream is on me. Having to wash ice cream off yourself isn't uplifting at all. Silly. I like you just the way you are, Mr. Rogers. For some reason, this one made my want to cry. Thanks, Mr. Rogers. That wasn't sarcasm. It was genuine. Thank you. You are my favorite person. I love you. You are my favorite animal. I love you. I'm glad I met you. Said to me by my 3 year old as I snuggled her through a painful ear infection and drum perforation. I love you mommy. And I appreciate you. Cause you do lots of pretty talking. Cause you do lots of pretty talking. That's perfect. When I was a senior in high school I told my mom I would be out of the house most of mother's day. She was, understandably, a little upset. Especially because we were having all of the mothers in our family over. Aunts. Cousins. ETC. I told her it was worth it and something I had to do. I spent the week writing 12 notes for 12 mothers. I bought a dozen roses and attached a note to each of them. On Mother's Day I set off in my car and stopped at 12 houses. I talked to my friends mothers. Thanking them for raising such wonderful children I can call my friends. The note went something like this. I was always told that a child is a reflection of their parents. I wanted to thank you and tell you that more than as I know you, you are a wonderful person for raising such loving and caring, son daughter, I wrote individual pieces for each as well, when I got home I walked towards my room and my mom was upset I was gone for so long and started lecturing me, I did the boldest move to date and asked her to hold on, I went to my room and grabbed a vase of a beautiful flower arrangement I knew she would love. I walked into the kitchen and handed them to her in front of some of her sisters and told her. I spent my day thanking the mothers of my friends for blessing me with wonderful friends. I told them that the way that they act, I can tell they have been raised by loving, caring mothers. I know I was gone for the day set aside for you, but I hope that in doing so they could tell that I was raised by the most loving, grateful, adoring mother I could have ever asked for. I love you more than words can say, and I hope that everyone else can see how thankful I am for that. You are my world and thank you for raising me right. She cried. My aunts cried. They made me repeat the speech in front of people so I could make them cry. Goddamn. I should not be tearing up. Frick. The world is a better place with you in it. My mother's last words to me. I'm tearing up right now. Thank you for sharing this. I hope your day is as pleasant as you are. I saw this on a thread once suggested as an insult to rude people, but it can be flipped around. Well, this depends solely on the view the other person think you have of them. Also, a person who has low self-esteem is more likely to take it as an insult just as the person with high self-esteem will more likely take it as a compliment. You make me want to be a better person. Well, this might not work if you're Anthony Jezelnik. My girlfriend makes me want to be a better person, so I can get a better girlfriend. I hope in my next life I'll meet you again, even if I'm just a fly on your shoulder. See you in another life, brother. In Eeny Teeny Mimo in The Simpsons, Mo finds a gorgeous girl, but she is very small. Despite putting efforts by not making fun of her height, he couldn't help himself and just lashes out these ridiculous insults to her. They were perfect for each other despite that flaw, but she breaks up with him. At the end of the episode, Homer tries to comfort Mo by telling, Mo, this is a great thing for you. You went from sitting on the sidelines to getting in the game. Sometime, when you least expect it, you'll realize that someone loved you, and that means that someone can love you again, and that'll make you smile. Double quote. I swear to god sometimes the Simpsons drop some heavy stuff on you, but, it's totally worth it. Colon. I'm glad I know you. 
I'm here with you now. Don't worry. Unless it's a ghost saying that. Just gonna put this out there. I like this thread better than that other one. I wish I could be like you when I grow up. You make me grateful for every mistake I made, because without them I wouldn't have you in my life. It moistened my panties a little, and I'm a dude. You should probably get that checked out. Are you okay? I adore you. I don't know what it is about the word adore, but I like it a lot more than the word love. It might be because love is so overused. Adore has a sweet, warm sound to it. I tell my kids, you make my heart happy, and then Ni Hao Kyle and stole it. Those goddamn, thieving Chinese. I believe in you. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me, that believes in you. It's uplifting as frick when I'm having a bad day at work and a random person makes conversation with me. I feel the exact opposite way. I'm so glad I found you. I got that from Scrubs. Haven't tried it out IRL. I love you more than Turk. I wouldn't change a thing about you. I am glad to have you in my life. Good job, those words go a very long ways. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.